Hey there everybody, Coach Brandon here. Today, we're gonna to be going over September week three curriculum, which is the hip sweep. In this technique, I'm gonna prop my arm behind my body, come up, raise my hips off the floor, and take my opponent over when I collect their post arm. So the basic hip sweep looks something like this. If I have this post arm, I think I pull it more myself. So if I'm in here and my hands aren't on me, I come up to the side, I bring my elbow behind me, my hand behind me, I lift my hips up as I turn my chest down to the floor, I drive my right knee down to the floor, and now with my right knee on the mat, my left leg is going to take a big step across the body, and I come up on top in the mount position. Now there are a lot of different ways to set up the hip sweep, uh, different tactics and subtle tricks we can use to try to get my opponent's hands off my body. One of the biggest things that's going to stop your hip sweep is your opponent's hands on your body. If I'm in the closed guard and Adam's hands are on me and I come up for hip sweep, I'm never going to get up. He holds me down very well right here. So we need ways to get the hands off the body. First, let's just talk about the mechanics of the hip sweep and how maybe we won't need to deal with the hands. In a, like a self-defense or an MMA scenario, oftentimes your opponents are going to be interested in posturing up to hit you. So if your opponents are posturing up and they're not holding you down, that is a great time to quickly prop yourself up, raise yourself up, drive your knee to the floor, your right knee here. I collect his arm so he can't face, and I step across the body going into the mount. So that's the basic hip sweep against some of the elements. I want my hand directly behind me. If I come up with my hand out to the side, it's very easy for Adam to shove me back down. So when I come up, I want to take my elbow behind my body. So now as I come up and Adam goes to shove me back down, I've got a sturdier base of support. It's still not like incredibly strong, but it's better than hand being out to the side. So we have the hand behind us. My hips come up. My knee goes to the floor, I take the arm in, and I take a step across. That's always the pattern. So let's see some ways, if, if it's not like MMA, if it's not self-defense, if it's sport jiu-jitsu or jiu-jitsu versus jiu-jitsu, oftentimes your opponent's going to have hands on your body, they might be gripping up, they might be using inside bicep ties, they could be doing a number of things. But the common thread is that he has hands on my body, so when I go to sit up, his hands hold me down. One good way to get the hands off the body is to, I'm sorry, let me, let me back up. One of the best ways to get the hands off the body is to break your opponent down to the floor so that they have the base with their hand or their elbow, or if we can break their shoulder down to the floor or their hip down to the floor, we can get a good hip sweep. So again, let's understand this. If I want to get a hip sweep, one of the best things you can do first for your setup is get your opponent's hand, their elbow, their shoulder, or their hip broken down to the floor. Again, hit your hip sweep. Hand, get your opponent's hand to the floor, their elbow to the floor, their shoulder to the floor, or their hip to the floor. If you can get one of these four things to the floor, the hip sweep will be a lot easier. So we're going to spend the next few minutes going over a few different methods and tricks we can use to get our opponent's hand, elbows, shoulders, and hips to the floor. The first one we're going to look at is a flower sweep to use to set it up. So from here, I'm going to take a, a cuff grip on Adam, or if I want the hand to get to the floor, I could also grip a tricep grip here if my intention is just to get his hand to base out to the floor. You could go here if you want to, base, if you want to get the elbow down to the floor. If I want his elbow to hit the floor, I'll hold the hand. If I want the hand to hit the floor, I'll come here and hold above the elbow. Now my left hand, rather than taking a grip low on the deep hands, which takes a little longer to set up and is a little more of a fixed grip, I'm just going to put my hand inside the knee, almost like a scoop grip. So my hand is going to go inside the knee just like so on the other side. All I'm looking to do is bump him out of balance. So I take one grip, my hand goes inside the knee, my foot goes down here next to the next to his ankle. Now I'm going to go to off-balance him with my left leg kicking up in the armpit, 
he puts a hand down to the floor. Okay? Now sometimes what will happen too is sometimes if I have a cuff and I go to knock him down, sometimes it'll be the other hand that reaches across too. Either way, whether it's this hand or this hand, as long as the hand comes off my body, that's what's important. So I'm going to take a cuff right here, hand inside the knee. Palm, he's going to face out with his either elbow or his uh, right hand. Or his right hand. Hey, there it is. Now, as he goes to recover, I sit up. As he pulls his arm back across the body, I come up. Over the head, I take my wrist to his elbow, collecting his elbow in. I drive my knee down to the floor, and now I step across the body for the hip sweep. So the flower sweep is one good method to get the hand to the floor. Another good method is to use a hip bump combined with something that is like a collar tie or maybe more like a cross face from the bottom. So from this position, he has hands on my body. I take my hand underneath, I post in the cross shoulder as I start to shrimp and I come up. Now I'm using my cross shoulder post and my elbow in the near shoulder to control Adam's shoulder line. If Adam wants to crush me from here, it's not easy, I can prop and frame. Now if Adam is driving forward relentlessly with, with a lot of pressure, it's going to be hard for me to sit up. It's going to be hard for me to go here without him flattening me back down. So if he continually drives forward, I may very well want to scoot out and maybe go into another attack. However, if I start to build myself up and I feel like there's not a lot of resistance, now I'm going to come up to my hand, my left hand goes around Adam's head and I'm going to hug him, almost like some headlock here. I lift my hips off the floor and I give a bump out to this side. Adam's going to face with his hand, otherwise he's going to go over. Now from here I go over the head, wrist to elbow, I take the hand off the floor, my knee goes to the, down to the mat, and I step across. So there we saw using a cross shoulder post to build up, bump my opponent to get their hand down to the floor. So you've seen the flower sweep to get the hand to the floor, and we've seen the collar tie and the hip bump to get the hand to the floor. Next, we're going to look at an ankle scoop sweep, where my opponent actually stands up inside of my closed guard to a vertical posture. From this vertical posture, most people would think a hip sweep to be impossible, but if you can first break your opponent's hips down to the floor, the hip sweep becomes a very viable option. So I'm in closed guard, and Adam goes and he starts standing up inside my closed guard to vertical posture. Now from here, I'm going to take my right arm inside and I'm going to hook his ankle with my elbow. My left hand goes to the floor up here by my head. My feet go down toward the mat, and I turn my knees and hips out to my right hand side as I knock Adam down. And we come up to this position here. Now, I build it to my hand, Adam will often build it to his hand, and we're in like a double seated position now. I'm on my butt, he's on his butt. There's gonna be a fight for top position. So to help me win that fight, I'm gonna go over his head, wrist to elbow, I take that arm away, drive my knee down to the floor, and I step across. So you guys will probably be noticing a pattern here with all the hip sweeps. We collect our opponent's arm, we get chest down to the floor, I drive my knee down to the floor, and then I step across to solidify the sweep. Um, sometimes we can knock our opponent down to the hip without them going to vertical posture. Sometimes our opponent will just step up with one leg as they go up to stand, and I can break them down to a hip from there and then complete the hip sweep in the same way. So in this scenario, Adam starts to step up, but he's going to stand. Now from here, I take a scoop grip, going elbow deep on his leg, and now I'm going to take his heel up on my shoulder. Now from this position, I'm going to apply my weight down into my right to force Adam down to his hip. Now from here, I bring my arm out from underneath his leg, propping up. As me and Adam go to get up together, I go over the head, I take the arm away, I turn chest down to the floor, my knee goes down to the mat, 
and I step across to complete the sweep. So these are all really good methods of off-balancing my opponent to get his hand, his elbow, shoulder, or hip down to the mat. We saw the flower sweep to do it. We saw the collar tie with the hip bump to do it. We saw the ankle scoop sweep when my opponent stands up to vertical posture inside my closed guard. And now we've seen scooping the ankle when my opponent just simply posts a single leg. So before they get to vertical posture. Now, you're not always going to be able to bump your opponent's hand down to the mat. So in this scenario, when we can't bump our opponent off balance them to get hands, elbows, shoulders, or hips down to the mat, I can use my hands to move their hands out of my own way. We're going to see things like uh, the cross cuff grip combined with a side scissor and cross elbow posts to make this happen. So let's take a look at ways that I can make the hip sweep work even when I can't bump my opponent's hands down to the mat. So from the scenario here, maybe Adam is gripping up just like so. One thing I can do, so what, are, what order do I want to do this in? So one thing I can do is I can go wrist figure forward grip, take the arm up and over my head, and take his arm up to the side. Now, you guys all know this position, this is a side scissor. If Adam doesn't correct himself from here, I can shrimp out, build up, and start taking the bat, winning the battle for head height. However, sometimes what will happen, I break the grip, I knee pull in, I solidify the posture control, and I feel Adam planting his left hand on the floor to help him pull his right arm back across my body. And as this happens, I come up, I go over the head, his elbow got caught by me there. I take his arm out, chest down to the floor, knee down to the mat, and we step across. I'm gonna do that when I get with my knee tucked in more so we don't have that same complication. So once again, I take my opponent's elbow across my center line as I fight for the side scissor. Now Adam is fighting his arm back. I come up, I go over the head, I collect the arm, knee down to the mat, and I step over. Now another way that we might make this work out of a side scissor is I can use a cross cuff grip. And I can just use that to push my opponent's arm out and away, and I can hit a hip sweep from there. So from this position, Adam gathers up my lapels. I go here, now maybe I could break the grip right from here, and then we just work the same series on this arm. But remember, that when I go here, sometimes Adam will drop his elbow. Okay, anyone who's good is going to drop their elbow, so I can't extend the arm. But in this scenario, I just go to the other cross cuff grip. If he has a grip on my belt or on my pants, I take the heel of my hand over his knuckles and I break the grip. And now I can start trying to work the side scissor on this side. Now once again from this side, if I can take the arm across the center line, and I shrimp, we saw that Adam pulls back and away, I can come up and hit my hip sweep. However, another option that we might have to run into on this side scissor is as I'm trying to drag Adam's arm across my body, he's pulling back in the other direction. So I'm struggling to get this arm across, and I just can't. When this kind of thing is happening, if he's overpowering me, he's winning the battle. I take his arm out in the other direction. Now I pull my elbow behind me. You can do a hip sweep from an elbow as well. In fact, in this scenario, oftentimes I will. So rather than build up to a hand, you can stay down on an elbow. Makes it a little harder, but it does work. My hips come up. My chest goes down to the floor. My knee goes down to the floor. I pull this cuff forward so you can't pose. And I take a step across the body. We get our hip sweep. So this notion, once again, of action-reaction or push-pull at play. I go to drag my opponent's arm across the center line. If I can succeed, then I will I'll drag it all the way across. But if I'm pulling across my body and he's viciously fighting in the other direction and I can't get it across, I'll go with his resistance. 
rather than trying to fight through and overpower his resistance, especially if he's stronger than me, oftentimes you want to find ways to go with your opponent's resistance and find attack avenues that way. Okay? There's one more technique that I want to show you guys before we close off the video. And it's very closely related to this cross cuff grip technique I just showed where I push the cuff out of the way. Except rather than having a cuff grip, we're just going to post inside the elbow. This works well no gi, and it works well if he doesn't have any grips. So in a scenario, maybe he starts gripping up on me and I break his grips, uh, and then he's trying to re-grip and I break the grips, and maybe I'm trying to grip him and he's breaking my grips, and in the hustle and bustle of everything, nobody has any grips, I come through and I post on my training partner's cross elbow. So this hand can no longer stop me from coming out to the side, or up. From here, I'm going to build up to an elbow, pulling my elbow behind my body. I come up to a hand, or again, you could stay down in an elbow. Coming up to a hand, lifting my hips. Now from here, because I have a thumb underneath his arm and four fingers over the top, Adam can't really go down or up. His only recourse is to pull back and away, come back underneath my arm, body lock me, and force me back down to the mat. Go ahead, do one. So I'm coming up. So, so I come up, I come inside, I post from the cross elbow, I'm trying to keep that arm back in the way. As I come up, even if he frees his arm and gets to a body lock, as long as I get chest down, drive my right knee to the floor, the body lock means nothing. As Adam goes to put me back down to the floor, I step across, and I have the mountain position. Okay, so that's a lot of good techniques. Let's quickly recap some of the main themes that we're looking at that are going to help us find success with the hip sweep. And then let's talk about, uh, recap the methods. So some of the main themes. I have to be able to deal with my opponent's hands. Whether they're sitting back and away because they want to punch me, so the hands aren't on me. Or whether I break my opponent's hand down to the floor, i got to get those hands out of my way. That is what's going to allow me to sit up. Once I start sitting up, I want my hand directly behind my body. If my hand's out to the side, I get flattened down so easy. If my arm is behind me, at least now I have a base of support behind me, and it's harder to flatten me down. Third element is this chest down to the floor position. Where I come up, my hips are high, I turn my chest down to the floor, so it's harder for Adam to put my, my back back down to the mat. Then, Another fourth, a fourth critical detail, my knee drives to the mat. I drive off my left foot, I open my right knee, and I get my knee down to the floor. Once my knee is down to the floor, one step across the body will complete the sweep for me. So those are some of the important elements for the hip sweep that regardless of the setup we use, we're always using those methods, okay? Get the hands out of the way, bring your propping arm directly behind you, Get your chest down to the floor, drive your knee to the mat, step across. Now some of the methods that we have to make that happen. We saw that if I can get my opponent's hand, the elbow, the shoulder, or the hip broken down to the mat, the hip sweep is much easier. We can do that with a flower sweep to off-balance our opponent. We can do it with a hip bump, the collar tie hip bump to get the hand to the mat. By the way, there's triangles and armbars out of there too, for those of you who know those options. So that's a great setup. We have, we have the ankle scoop sweep, right? Hook inside my opponent's ankle, I push, I break their butt down to the floor, from there I can come up, and then it's a matter of winning the fight for top position with a hip sweep. And then we have the ankle scoop, my opponent just posts a leg. They step up, I take the ankle scoop, I stretch their leg out, and I sit their hip down to the mat. Then the hip sweep is much easier from there. So four good methods to break our opponent's hand, elbow, shoulder, or hip down to the mat. Then we saw that if we can't get the hand, elbow, shoulder, or hip down to the mat, I have other good ways I can do it with my opponent's arms. I can use that cross cuff grip and the side scissor to drag my opponent's arm across. As my opponent's arm gets dragged across the body, they'll be instant planting the hand to rip their arm back across. When they plant the hand on the floor, that means the hand's not on your body. As they rip up, you sit up with them, and then you take them over with a hip sweep. 
we saw that if we have that cross cuff and we're trying to make the side scissor work and they're vociferously fighting back and away, uh, trying to not have their arm brought across the center line, we can take their arm out and away, we sit up, prop up, chest down to the mat, knee down to the floor, step over with a hip sweep. And finally we saw that even if we don't have grips, we can't use the side scissors, we don't have cuff grips, maybe the side scissors harder. Um, we can also just use a inside cross elbow pose where I use that rather than a cuff grip to take my opponent's arm out of the way. I use that inside elbow post to take my opponent's arm out of the way. I sit up, chest down to the floor, arm propping behind me, knee goes down to the floor next, next to his knee, and then we step across the body. So a lot of good details for you guys to review for the hip sweep. Make sure to add this into your arsenal so you become dangerous not only with submission attack from the bottom position, with things like the top block, the clamp, and the inside wrist grip, but so you become a threat through sweeping as well. Now that you guys have the flower sweep, the pendulum sweep, the scissor sweep, and the hip sweep all in your back pocket.